What's up everyone? Dr. Jacob Wilson here, the Muscle PhD. So excited to be with you today on one of the most controversial questions that you could possibly come up with, and that's can you gain muscle in a calorie deficit, right? And I, we posted this before online, and you have people in dog fights, dog fights, basically going like, no, you can't do that. There's no way. It's very simple. If you're in a calorie deficit, you're losing fat. All you can do is hold on to muscle, but you're probably going to lose that too. And if you want to gain muscle, you got to be in a calorie surplus. Well, let me just say this. To answer it very shortly, can you gain muscle in a calorie deficit? The answer is absolutely yes. Okay. Now, can you lose muscle in a calorie deficit? The answer is absolutely yes. So clearly, it is dependent on a number of conditions. Okay, and those conditions uh, include starting body fat, training status, and diet. Okay, let's talk about starting body fat. There's a great um, researcher, um, Forbes, and basically what what he found was this. He found that the more body fat you have, the more in, uh, the less in danger you are of losing muscle. In fact, basically, if you if you take someone who's obese and they go on a 500 calorie um, uh, a day diet, which I'm not recommending by the way, but if you're on a 500 calorie a day diet, if you're obese, you actually might not lose any muscle at all. Why is that the case? Because number one, your body's not as scared when you have so much fat mass. Number two, you have a readily available energy source right there. And number three, probably you're inducing ketosis because there's so much body fat, you're able to get in ketosis and ketones spare muscle, and they're actually anabolic to muscle, okay? Then as you got leaner, he found that when you're, you're in a calorie deficit, that you're more in danger of losing muscle, okay? So what does this basically mean? It means that, like, say that you're just starting dieting and you're 20% body fat. At that stage, you probably can still gain muscle in a calorie deficit, okay? Um, and you probably can go more extreme with your cut, okay? But as you get leaner, say you're like 9% body fat, 8% body fat, or even 12% body fat, now it's going to become very difficult to gain muscle in a calorie deficit. Why? Because your body at that point in time actually may selectively, to protect you from dying, catabolize the tissue that is keeping your metabolism high. In other words, your body's going to try and catabolize muscle to purposely lower your metabolism so you can survive, right? The body is all about survival. If you're in a calorie deficit, it's going to try and survive, and it's going to do that by catabolizing muscle tissue, which elevates your metabolism. So, but if you're in that state, that means that you need to use a lot of anti-catabolic agents to protect your muscle. How do I do that? Well, HMB will protect your muscle. HICA can protect your muscle. Ketones can protect your muscle, right? Remember I said when you're obese, you might produce ketones naturally? If you look, if someone's super lean, it's going to be harder to get their ketone levels up, so you need to supplement with ketones at that point, okay? So uh, the other thing is diet. Dr. Donald Lehman, who my, my brother um, actually got his doctorate underneath, actually found that when you had um, 2.7 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, that those people basically had a better chance of gaining muscle than people who had lower protein intakes. Dr. Jose Antonio did a study where individuals had over three grams per kilogram body weight uh, of protein per day, and they were able to lose fat and gain muscle at the same time, okay? So the point is, as you get leaner, carbs might become less and less, but protein can't lower. And you need to have more anti-catabolic agents, again, like HMB, and probably you need to lower your training volume per training session and have higher frequency so that you can maintain a more anabolic stimulus so your body can't afford to get rid of the muscle. Because usually intensity starts to drop as we get leaner. You can't afford to do that. We need to spread our frequency out. And then, then maybe, maybe when you're leaner, you can still gain muscle. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.